Merry Christmas, my friends. Merry Christmas. May this Christmas ends the present year with a cheerful note and make way for a bright new year. Wishing you a wonderful holiday season with a happy new year. And may your Christmas sparkle with the moments of love, laughter and goodwill. And I'm gonna give this darn pencil box to your friend Ali. And he's gonna test out and review the product to make sure it's worth buying in 2019. So let's jump right in the video. So I bought these Derwin's graphics pencils from an online art store and it cost me about 1380 rupees or you can say 10 US dollars and this box has 12 graphic pencils from 9B to H which means each single pencil costs about 115 rupees or 83 cents which is way more expensive than my current pencil brand. So anyways let's open the box and take a look inside. So it's sealed with a clear plastic coating and I'm gonna cut this with my X-Acto knife. I bought this X-Acto knife from the same art store and I will feature this in my upcoming pencil carving videos. Hmm, pencil quality looks really good. Let's arrange them in sequence so we can test them accordingly. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a small shade from each pencil and make a grayscale like thingy from all the pencils available. So I can compare the shades and darkness in reference to each other. First of all, I'm gonna shade with an H pencil. Basically the letter H and B represents the hardness and blackness of a pencil. The hardest pencils create lighter and thinner lines, while the softest pencils create darker and thicker lines. Now the second one is an F pencil. The letter F is used to indicate that the pencil is sharpened to a fine point. And it's the same thing as HP or 2.5 HP pencil. So you can call it an alternative for HP. Now the third one is an HP pencil. Basically it's a mixture of both the hard and black graphite. And it's a medium grade pencil mostly used for writing and linear drawings. Now the third one is a B pencil. And it's mostly used for freehand drawings, outlines and things like that. Fourth one is a 2B pencil and as I said the number on the left represents the amount of darkness or hardness. So this pencil will be 2 times blacker than a B pencil. And same is the case for all the grades above this. A 3B is 3 times black, a 4B is 4 times black and so on up to 12B or 9B in my case because I have the highest of 9B in this box. You may get up to 12B in a bigger one. Let's mark the name so you can differentiate accordingly. So as you can see each shade is darker than the previous one and there's a huge difference between an H pencil and a 9B pencil. By the way I bought this Rotring 300 from the same art store and I will review this in my mechanical pencil review video. So anyways I have a few more tests for the pencils. So let's see how they perform in comparison with my current pencil brand. First one is the hardness or pressure test. And I'm gonna compare an Eiffel's 9B pencil and a Derwent's 9B pencil. And as you can see both the pencils have a slight difference in thickness of their leads. And I think Derwent's lead is slightly thicker than the Eiffel's. Okay so now I'm gonna press both the leads against the paper. Exert same amount of pressure on both the pencils and see which one lasts longer than the other. And as I expected, the Eiffel's lead broke really faster than the Derwent's. And we got this much amount of breakage in Eiffel's pencil. So it means Derwent's 9B pencil passed the pressure test. Okay, so I have these two broken lead pencils and now I'm gonna apply the wood test or you can say sharpening test. Wow, I can't believe this wood is really amazing. I never sharpened any pencil with the wood as soft as this one in my life. Mm, no, actually I did. I once bought this 2-in-1 product from Tomboy USA and the pencils were on a whole new level. And believe me, those were the pencils which really upgraded my skill level. And I still have this single pencil left from the box. Tombow is an awesome brand and I will definitely review some products from the Tombo in my future videos. So anyways, moving on to the Eiffel's pencil. 
and as always the wood is really hard to sharp even with my new exacto knife so derwent is definitely winning the wood test oh sh and that's the difference between a 20 cents and a one dollar pencil okay now the third test is darkness test and i'm gonna compare these two 9b pencils from eiffel and derwent so let's start with the derwent Mm, so far so good Okay, let's try the Eiffel pencil Hmm, I think both the pencils have same results in case of this darkness test and I didn't notice any prominent difference between both the pencils other than this excess graphite powder which didn't appear in case of Eiffel pencil So this might be a pro for Eiffel that it will last longer than the Durant so anyways, the last test will be a lightness test and I will compare these 2B pencils from Eiffel and Derwent. Let's start with Derwent's 2B. Nice, it has the same level of darkness in all the strokes, which is really good for beginners as most of my students struggle to merge the strokes of this back and forth stroke technique. Okay, let's try the other one. And as expected, it has a slightly darker shade than the Derwent. But in my opinion, that's a good thing, you know, because when I start sketching anything other than YouTube videos, I never focus on the grades of pencils I'm using, because I can get whole lot of different shades from a single B pencil like this. So it's a good thing in my case. So anyways, I'm gonna draw this jingle bell sketch using only these Derwent pencils. And I will share my experience after this drawing. It's a timeless video and I will share this step by step through it tomorrow as a bonus video for Christmas. Okay, so honestly speaking, my experience with these pencils was way too awesome than what I was expecting. Although they are quite expensive than my current pencil brand, but these pencils are really worth buying. And I will definitely use these pencils in my future videos and for all of my artworks until I find a better brand than this. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I recently started posting on Patreon and I will be sharing much more interesting content and tips for my patrons. So consider supporting me on Patreon if you want more of this helpful content from me. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel and I will see you tomorrow.